okay as you can see it's 20 past um, six hubby's gone to work and I'm sitting on the sofa at the moment so I'm not doing a real close-up of the clock um, I was pretty late to bed last night because I did do a reset and everything as I said on our home I didn't even um, answer any comments or emails last night which is what is what I was expecting to do and I've been doing that um, sometimes as I said just before I go to bed that's why some of the comments may um, come through late um, it's one of the things that I tend to do um, in the evening um, yeah I've got my sleeping bag here I get out of one bed and as hubby calls it a second one um, I'm not struggling I'm not too bad I got um, a few hours sleep last night so not too bad so um, I'm not going to go on and back my tooth like I do every morning but yeah I'm still got a pat I'm thinking I'm going to have this for a couple of weeks um, so I am dragging behind I've still got a number of videos I'm um, sort of um, in the pipeline and everything and trying to get them you know whether they're separate or during vlogmas you know it depends on what the content is um, but yeah I think I'm more nervous for hubby this morning um, he's just nipped into work for a few hours then he's coming home to pick me up and then we are going um, for his appointment at the moment um, I think I clarified this yesterday he is having treatment today so um, he didn't sleep very um, good last night it seems as though if he doesn't sleep I do if I do he doesn't if you understand what I'm saying that's been on the cut for a while um, hopefully everybody's okay um, I've got my laptop here um, because I thought I'd do the intro have me morning coffee and um, answer some of those emails and comments this morning as I said I try and answer as many as I can um, in the evening time sometimes I might do it during the day um, but very often I set a time um, during the evening usually last thing so I do apologize if um, it's probably the worst time to do it because I say I'm a morning person and it's probably the worst time to do it because of mistakes so I do apologize and I do tend to most of the time um, use the laptop it's not like my um, phone where it's got um, predict text or you know the words come up um, for spelling mistakes and things like that so I do apologize um, I will say I know some of you are struggling out there and I do feel for you um, through um, health issues and I think but as I said um, if you don't want to comment down um, you know in the comments you know you're welcome to email me like I know a few of you do and I apologize I'm answering the emails today I think I've got a couple more cards um, to um, sort of post um, hopefully this weekend um, it is as you possibly know it is Wednesday I keep thinking it's Thursday it's thrown me a bit because the last couple of um, dentist appointments seem to always be on a Thursday um, so um, yeah so I'm getting around to those comments but if you want to just generally talk and you don't want to leave comments it's more private you are welcome to leave me um, emails I'm trying to get in the process um, of checking them regularly um, if it's something you know if you want immediate reply or something you know for whatever reason um, just leave um, you know it in the comments that you've sent me an email I'm trying each evening to check that I haven't missed any um, emails and get back to you as soon as I can but um, yeah as I said uh, it seems this time of year I do get more comments than all the rest of the year which I can understand it I mean I think with everything going on I think um, it's nice having this little bit of community we can be backwards of course there's quite a few of you out there that I can um, connect with and I think you're the same you're in the same boat for whatever reasons um, health wise and struggling and um, let's see if we can you know 
dare I call it the Christmas buzz which normally I'm bouncing around like anything um, and I'm not just saying that it's because of the pandemic and everything no this is to do with obviously um, back pain leg pain and also now my tooth which I think out of everything this is the worst but if you just want to talk whatever I have been considering for a uh, quite some time now to do a live stream I don't know whether I was going to mention this or not I'm not sure if this is going to be on the cards I was hoping to do it nearer Christmas um, I'm not technically minded and I was going to get um, hubby or my sons to help me with that um, but we shall see um, I have been putting it off since last Christmas actually I, I was thinking about doing it last year and I didn't um, not sure if it's going to be on the cards or not we shall see but I will let you know if I'm going to go ahead with that I think it might be put off for another year I try not to so um, you know we can I can instantly then um, come back with comments we shall see about that one um, I know Diane Kelly has been doing it um, if you're following her and um, she's been doing a couple of um, you know little crafts um, doing um, live stream which have been really good so please go and check her out Diane Kelly um, and her um, live stream um, you know I always think you're brave I'm not too bad doing it this way I don't know whether to do um, you know just a face-to-face -face or um, crafting or something we shall see as I said I put this off now for over a year um, I'm not sure whether it's going to happen or not. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too bad this morning. I'm more concerned about hubby um, and everything. Um, I am packing. <laughs> Sounds awful, doesn't it? Um, I don't know whether I should take bottled water or something. Sometimes I do. Because um, hubby lasts. When I know that I'm going for a hospital appointment, you know, I, I, I tend to sometimes have an extra bag. I take like um, water, snack, um, water bottle, things like this. Do you know what I mean? Not so much this time because it's not, shouldn't be that long, I don't think. Um, but originally I was going to stay in the car. Um, but I've got permission to actually go in the building at the moment, as said, but not in the room with him. I think I said all this last night. Um, so I was going to actually <laughs> take my cards to write. Um, I've done this before, I've even took my planner, this is also a hospital, planner, I was going to take the Christmas cards to write, I've got a few more to write, normally they've all been posted by now, but I said I've got a couple of messages on emails and everything, so I want to send you cards, the ones that I sent me their addresses, um, but um, yeah, there's quite a few things that I'm slipping behind and I do apologise, um, few days now I've just been doing the bare minimum I'm trying to clean one room a day I don't know about anybody else I try and spread it over the week if I'm feeling a bit um, you know in pain or something I think you're all the same I have to feel as though I've accomplished something by the end of the day that's why sometimes um, pieces have been done later in the afternoon or evening rather than in the morning I do do and I'm not going to repeat myself my usual checks because it's kept me in check and it hasn't mean that I've been so swamped with everything, you know. So I'm going to leave it here because I don't want to wrap it on and on and on. I know a lot of you don't mind it and I've got my coffee here which I haven't drank yet. So um, and I did get hubby <laughs> at quarter six this morning, get my Christmas mugs down off the high shelf. Um, so I'm going to wash those up so I can start using my Christmas mugs now. So hopefully you follow me on Vlogmas Day 9. I had to quickly look at the clock. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear me. So hopefully, as I said, I repeat myself now, you follow me on my day. Okay, we're in the car park. One of the um, dental assistants has just come out. Um, um, hubby had to give his registration number and make a car um, yesterday, and she's just come out. Is the next patient, 
Um, so um, I think they let you in about five minutes before your appointment, don't they? Because they've mm -hmm. got to sterilise all the um, room and equipment and everything. Um, so yeah, his hubby is not a happy bunny, are you, my darling? Oh no, I prefer to be at work. <laughs> if I had my way. Yeah, so I think I'm nervous for him actually. Um, as I said, they don't allow, um, you know, a partner or someone to go in with you um, when you're on the treatment because didn't they have someone faint or something or collapse? Yeah. And that's why they don't allow someone in, do yeah, they? Yeah, partner, when he was pulling a tooth out. <laughs> although my son said uh, when he came in with me, um, although he had um, a clean-up last week, um, he waited and I could see when I was rinsing up and everything in between the treatment that I was having, he and Grimson, and he said um, it's worse watching than having it done. Um, but, yeah... So we're just waiting now um, for hubby to be called in. It's going to seem strange, isn't it, once we go back, hopefully to the norm, isn't mm. it? Back to the norm when it's not masks, not waiting in cars and everything. Um, but, yeah, so um, we'll see you, hopefully, when he's had his treatment. Well, these houses, excuse the dirty windscreen, these houses are massive, though, aren't they? Mm. And they're a fair few years old. Um, but, yeah, it's what it looks inside. Um, I think it's, well, you'd think Boopa, it's going to be quite nice inside, wouldn't you thought, or not? I don't know. You never, don't care. Never don't, had Boopa before. Don't care. Okay, I've got a um, haul of a slight difference this time. This is pieces that I have purchased after Christmas. This is the previous Christmas. I said I do this, um, I've done this for so many years and I have a small budget. Usually I spend after Christmas purchasing anything. In previous years it's been like Christmas cards, wrapping paper, um, non-perishable gifts, gifts that haven't necessarily got Christmas wrapping paper on or packaging, you know, that sort of thing. They're kept separate due to that they can be used all year round. Um, this is specifically, as far as I know, everything to do with Christmas and I purchased it on sale and clearance from last year. Um, and if anybody wants to know, um, I do keep my trusty um, gift book. I've um, explained this before. It has um, all the gifts I purchase and um, for the different occasions, um, whether it's birthday, Christmas, I have one which has DVDs, um, another one, say, Avent calendars and things like that. Stocking fillers go all in my trusty gift um, book so I know what I've spent and I've done this again for a number of years so I can go back and I know what I've purchased um, different people, um, you know, over the years. And so some things have got the um, prices on, other things haven't. And I have got one crate. I thought I only had one. And I have two crates. So if you're not interested in this, then um, obviously just forego this part. Um, try not to spend too long on this. Um, Hub is just relaxing after, I say, the dentist. So I'm hoping it's going to be bright enough. I just wanted to have the tree in the background. Um, it's feeling a bit worse for wear. Um, I don't want to put people off. Um, this is through Boopa. Um, wasn't a very nice dentist. I understand um, with Hubby, um, basically called him Butcher. Um, he's even had to have um, stitches in his mouth. Um, he's had three teeth out. He had one with the uh, normal dentist and three out through um, this dentist and he's not a happy bunny whatsoever and it's not just the pain, it was just the dentist attitude full stop. But we're not going to go there, we're going to have it bright and 
um, Mary and everything and I'm going to go through some of the items I keep telling you and I keep repeating myself I do buy a lot of um, pieces after each season it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas it could be Easter it could be Halloween um, you get the um, even when we just change the seasons say um, spring summer winter sometimes like that I tend to buy different um, pieces sorry about knocking you I'm trying to get comfy sitting on the floor so I'm going to quickly <laughs> try and whiz through this and just give you some of the ideas of the pieces that I've picked up from the pe previous year especially as I am not going shopping um, out around the shops I just thought I'll show you and a few of these items you'll see is why I said I was going to do the Disney theme this year um, in our bedroom. The first one you probably remember um, seeing a lot of this is I have got the Disney cushion. Um, days till Christmas, if you remember seeing these in Primark, you've got the numbers there. The Velcro is there. Um, this was originally £8.00. And I paid, I don't know if you can see that, £3. So that now, see, this is one reason I want to get the crates out. Um, due to the fact that I can put some of the pieces now out. So that's the um, Mickey and Minnie cushion. The little mini um, stocking. This also, no, this was £6. This was down to three pounds i was actually um considering giving this to her granddaughter but she now has got a couple of uh, like a sack and a stocking of her own so what i might do is if you remember those um little hooks i've got into those little white creamy off-white um shelf and i've got in our bedroom i thought i could hang that up um outside and um on the hooks and even i know some people you know sort of put um carrier bags or something in the um stocking just to fill it out a bit if need be so there's that one as i said i'm not sure probably i would have paid six pounds um but as i said it this is what i mean and i don't even know if this is going to happen after this christmas or not um i'm going to come back over here because this is another item as i said um this is like the bedding i've got this is from primark this was originally four pounds and I paid um, a pound for it. And it's got the red truck with Mickey in it and the um, Christmas tree and then, then the little uh, faces of Mickey in this gold. And again, I might um, put that say on the shelving or something. I did remember I purchased this because I had it so, so it didn't get broken. Um, right, um, I said, um, they're probably mixed up in where I got them from. You have roughly seen these. These are when I was doing those um, gift ideas. And I could only get the one. It is actually a bath towel. We, I prefer the bath sheets. Um, it's got... There's the prices on there. So it was originally £8 down to 3 But I only paid a pound for that bath towel um, it was in a bin with a lot of um, different pieces I don't know if everything was then reduced to a pound I don't know but I only got charged a pound I actually picked it up thinking I was going to pay three pound but they only had the one towel and as I said I bought a number of the flannels and these were originally um, 150 each and I paid 50 pence each for these to go along with the towel and we often have two or three flannels um, on the go in the bathroom and obviously one down the cloakroom as well but they go with the towel may have to actually um, wash those a few times in case the dye comes out I've actually got three I've noticed I think of this next item um, so I'll go back to that because I think one of them is in this one. Um, I think I bought these a little while after Christmas. Um, these were originally £9 each. I think they're both £9 each. And I paid £3 each for them. And I think mugs and socks are a really good um, gift. Now, um, looking at these... 
yeah you could actually get away with these um any time of year i was just checking um we've got aladdin um which i bought for a guy and i've got um sort of like um mini mouse for a female um these were five pounds each instead of nine um, and again, this is sort of thing, it's not really uh, what I would call um, Christmas um, wrapping, so they could be used any time of year, but I specifically kept those up for um, this Christmas. Mug socks, especially socks, you know me and socks, and I do apologise if I keep knocking you. Um, I think I paid £4, I meant to checked my book paid four pounds i this is one thing until i looked at my book when i was going to get my crates out that i actually forgot about these these are for our son and i forgot all about these these were eight pounds and i paid three pounds for them and it's the call of duty slippers and um this is going to go brilliant with the um the um, sort of um, gaming um, gift I've done. As I say, I've just bought the Call of Duty um, fleece um, sweatshirt and the um, t shirt. I got those from Asta. So now I've got slippers. So, and they were originally £8. Um, I've got um, this one is Winnie the Pooh ball ball. I bought no end of these sort of ball balls. And I've bought these over the last few years. Not these ones, but it seems to be, I don't know if Primark have got the big ball balls in again this year, but they seem to have a lot of stock after Christmas. And instead of paying um, five and six pounds, a lot of these I've spent um, a pound or 50p on them. So this is, um, I don't know if you can quick, see that it's Winnie the Pooh on that one and I've got quite a few do excuse any rustles I'm going from um, sort of um, box from box to box um, this one um, is um, the Mary Poppins one I did mention when I was showing decorations I don't know if that's going to come clear because I've got the lights on behind um, this is just, it says, um, practically perfect in every way. Um, and this one was a pound as well. So quite a lot of these type ones. Harry Potter ones, I brought a number of these. And some were 50p and some were a pound. Um, so I've got a couple of Harry Potter ones that I've brought previously um, from Primark. And there's this one. And, and I had about four or five of them and then they put them down to 50 pence each because I presume they weren't shifting them quick enough. So that's those. And I said, the distance, so, especially if you've got a big tree, even you could stand that if you've got a, um, you know, a candlestick or one of the larger candlesticks, even if you was to put a little bit of um, double-sided tape or cellar tape or a little bit of blue tack, anything like that, and you can sit that on a candlestick if you want it separately, especially if you haven't got a large tree or somewhere to actually, um, you know, store it so you can see it more. So that's three baubles I've got there. Um, have I got any more baubles? No, but I have got some sets here and one of the sets I've got two of because I said about this, I tend to buy certain things twice. Sometimes it, it was for a friend and sometimes for a granddaughter and these were £5 each. It's the frozen ones. It's a set of two decorations and yes, look what I paid a pound. So I have got two sets, one for myself for our tree i'm just glad i got this out hubby is gonna say you bought more decorations and these were i've explained to him and he only has to see my um video um that i bought them last year so that's 50p a decoration you can't moan at that for disney so there we are so we got um those so one for myself and one for a granddaughter i don't know whether um they've got all the um decorations in 
um, this year due to the fact I haven't been to Primark, so I wouldn't know. And I only got the one, have I only got one of these? I think I've only got the one. Maybe I could only find the one. This was a little bit more expensive. This was two pounds. Still a pound decoration, still not bad. And this is from Primark again, and it's the Cinderella set. So there we are, and I think that's gorgeous as well. Yeah, I'd be very disappointed if I couldn't do this again after this Christmas, but I think it comes to a stage that I have got, as you probably know, because it's taken me so long to put things out. I have got a lot of Christmas decorations, but guess what? I could start on my son's home. You know, I'm getting in pieces ready for the pre, you know, for the next year, like. So, yeah. This is the item I've actually got, I think, three of these. Um, we're still on Primark. Yes, I brought three. And it is the Elf Snow Globe. And yes, you can see that. Um, well, actually, tell a lie. This one was £8 and it was down to £3. Now, I remember this distinctly. Well, besides the clearance ticket on there. So that was what I bought from one Primark. Then I went back to another Primark and look at the price, a pound. That's why I ended up, sorry for the glare, that's why I ended up buying two more um, because you can't really grumble at that. And I always looked at it this way this way um, especially if you um, like elf which I do um, that although I make my own cards you can pay that and more for a Christmas card can't you not that I can send these because when I purchase them I don't know you won't be able to see your visitors or whatever but I have got three the first one said I spent three pound on it and I picked the last two up from another Primark and I got them pound each it's just a matter of keeping your eyes open um, for pieces like this as I said very often I've cut down over Christmas previous years even more this year and then I have my budget after Christmas to um, buy things they're still Primark I may end up going back into Primark um, I don't know I meant in this little bit of haul I'm trying to make sure I've got another item here I brought a couple of these actually this is Elf again. This is the t-shirt. Well, this is the night shirt. And my idea would make a nice gift. This was originally five pounds down to two and I paid a pound for it. So again, that in a nice basket with Elf and possibly even on Blu-ray or DVD the um, video especially if you know someone who hasn't got the DVD and that make a good and lovely gift set and guess what except for what you put in it maybe a basket from Poundland that could end up being four pound total for a gift so as I said with the nightshirt pound that a pound pound for the basket and if you could get elf which I have seen it in um, Poundland um, the DVD for a pound in the past so four pound for a gift can't be bad for all that um let's carry on now this is at a guess b &M. yes these were two pound 49 and i paid a pound and i actually picked up two sets because i thought these would make um great um crafting um idea for Christmas, especially putting pictures of our granddaughter in and that, and um, family members, um, um, just for your tree and everything. And also, if, again, it was something I purchased in the mind eye, that when we did um, our visiting over this Christmas, I would be able to take a bauble decoration. Because um, I don't tend to um, take flowers I tend to do like reindeer flannels and things like this as um, gifts for when we go visiting but they'll still come in handy I'll still use them somehow um, this was a Wilco one this was down to 50 pence give yourself 
time and it's in this grey and it's like um today i'm grateful for what would make today um a great day i am and it's sort of things like that so i know some of my friends do do german things and i thought that would just make um something a little bit different um as a gift um i've got some of these decorations this one i'm sure was a poundland one and I paid um, 25 pence for it. I could only get the one. I sort of loved to got more of these because I do love um, this rustic look. And that would actually look nice. Especially if I had some more of these um, to go in the games room. Because I do have like the stag and reindeer sort of thing. Rustic look going on in there. And the same as these. Um, these I'm not sure where these actually came from um, and I know I didn't pay a lot for them and these are just um, little tins that you could put sweets or a pair of earrings or a small gift inside those so I've got two of those and you know quite handy to put in a stocking with a little something even um, one of those little round lip glosses or something and just put some tissue paper in there or shredded paper um, this one was from Flying Tiger I don't know the full price on this one but this was a pound um, I might put it either on the black shelving in here or with the rest of my little um, village and this is the church in the little dome and as I say I don't know if you can see that that was um, reduced down to a pound flying tiger was another one actually i did quite well the last two years on buying pieces although last year um the only store that i really had um quite a lot of joy with was actually primark um not so much all the other stalls um or shops um and as i said i have actually um sort of had a few things on my wish list my backpack was one that i purchased actually after christmas the black one that i use an awful lot that was originally 25 pounds and i paid nine pound 50 for it and things like that so yeah got these from um Dunelm. you can always not have enough tissues and it's these and these were reduced down to um 50 pence so i always like the um christmas tissue boxes so that's those this was actually from a charity shop and this was 49p and it's got santa's grotto on there let's say that's something else that um you can actually get some good deals because sometimes stores do actually donate their um excess um stock you know even through the year or way after christmas to charity shops so they can sell them off sometimes i find the charity shops can um, when they receive um, stock from stores can run a little bit expensive other times not so much like that um, this is a book um, it's got Audi on it it was it had 7.99 on this and I believe this is something else it was brand new I actually got from the charity shop it has not been um, used And um, I paid 29 pence for that. So, yep, something else. That is going to be up for our granddaughter. Um, and then I got these bows. These were reduced down to 50 pence with the little um, gem in there. I do like, you know, putting extra bows on. Funny enough, I could do with a few, just a tad little more on our tray. So I might put the bows on uh, at some point point and then i kept these up some um bags um this one was poundland a pound and it's got santa going down the chimney on that one great idea for um you know transporting um gifts and this one i think was home bargains i'm not 100 percent sure now because i've Actually, the um, assistant took the tag. No, the tag is there. Um, 
no it's the works I thought it was um, home bargains but no it was the works and this was a pound and this one's slightly bigger so make a nice bag to put the gifts to transport them so you again I got this in line with that we were visiting um, that we do a lot of visiting around the Christmas season but not this year and that's what I sort of transport the um, you know the gifts in um, got this one this was um, the Elf's Christmas Ball Balls Poundland and this was 25 pence I think I've only got the first one of them as I would have got some more of these um, so yes I have actually got more decorations than what I expected um, for this season but I might actually um, give some to our son, daughter-in-law and granddaughter and um, I've got a few of these sort of things um, this one I believe was 25 pence because I bought an awful lot from Poundland they normally reduce their stuff to 20-25 pence and it's the snowman so I'm going to put that aside because I'm um, putting stuff together for our granddaughter for crafting. So that's that one. Um, this was another 25p item. I tend to buy these for our eldest son. Um, he does work in an office and I keep buying in, in these every year. But most this year, um, since the first lockdown, March, until way into next year, I believe, he is still working actually from home. It's getting stuff done. I'm not going to say the word. And it's got like stuff I could probably do. Boo Monday. Not another Tuesday. Hump day Wednesday. Nearly there Thursday. Yay, it's Friday. Glorious weekend doodle area at the bottom and I always buy these sort of things for him to go near his phone and everything um, so he's got somewhere to jot things down and I think these make um, a lovely um, addition to um, the stocking fillers as well which will be coming up in the next day or so male and female um, this is an eraser um, Poundland again I think they still have these so I thought I'd keep that up for our granddaughter. Although she will probably play with it as just a um, character, the Snow White. Um, yeah, these were two pound down to a pound. Yes, Mickey. Uh, funny enough, you look at that design. That is the same design that's on near enough the reverse. I think this is black actually the same design that's on the reverse of our quilt cover from Asta and we've got Mickey and Minnie there um, and there are ice skates there it's got the famous truck one in there as well and then that one so brilliant now it might be sad but I have done it in the past where I've had I bought a pack of these and split them so say one of those not necessarily this design but a Christmassy design because not everybody's into Disney yeah right t um, say a dishcloth tea towel even hand towel bath towel and flannel and make a Christmas bundle and as you can see I could do that if I was doing that for somebody else um, would end up um, reasonable and I've seen the um, Christmas tree sponges as well so you could do like a bundle like that and the way I have actually stored bits and pieces is in boxes like this and as you can see socks good old socks um, this will be Primark these were £2.50 down to a pound And again, Elf, I did forget about these. Um, these are the shoe liners. These were £2.50 down to a pound. And there is three pairs in that set. So this is where I actually managed to get the stocking fillers all together. Is another one. This was 49 pence. 
and I've got these penguin ones and I have got the ones with the candy cane and Christmas puddings on so like I said and then this box came from Poundland um, but it's just as I said I've got quite a few pieces then um, for stockings already um, something else I think these from home bargains I think these might have been from home bargains um, ankle socks for a female they were five pound and I paid a pound and I've got yeah you can guess it two um, one for myself and one for somebody else and they're in these baubles so again more stocking fillers you'll probably see these and get some of these items maybe when I'm um, talking about the stockings yeah Disney um, was two pound down to a pound Mary and Bright is this one Mickey and Minnie again so I have got some pieces I know I've got a couple pieces I did actually forget about this one it is in my book and as I was going through of it I realized I have got a few Disney bits and let's do this one I'm just doing it so as I say this is how I pack them so in the little boxes another one from Poundland um, so here we have the um, hot dog and this was £1.50 down to 50 pence. Hot dog there. I do have hamburgers. So I've got the hot dog um, to go on the shelf. I have got this one. And this one I believe I got for um, 25 pence. I would have loved some more of these but I've only got the one. Um, I say I bought so much from Poundland because they reduced them. I've got this rose one. Um, this, as you can see, again it's Mickey and Minnie. It's um, a perfume, two pound down to a pound. Yeah, it's got the sticker over the characters, but it's that one. And I bought two of these candles. These were originally two pounds each, down to a pound. And this is part of the um, Mickey range, the Disney range. I probably won't burn these, especially this year, because now I can put things on those little shelves in our bedroom. Now I've um, reached in and got my crates. So these do get stored in the water they're just at the bottom of me other ones and then I got um, two of these these were £1.50 down to 50p and it's the Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse and they're the lip balms and I did actually have a pile of receipts in here as well I wasn't sure of the prices so that's that box um, we're on the last little bit. I think this is the last couple of bits. I have got uh, Mickey Mouse pyjamas, which I got on um, clearance after Christmas. They're actually in my wardrobe, and I probably will um, share some of my clothing that I keep for Christmas. I've got my um, Elf Granny Elf jumper. Hubby purchased this from TK Maxx for me last year when we was away. And he saw me looking at it and I was on Panara and I thought, no, I've got a couple of Christmas jumpers. But didn't realise until we got back to the caravan that he bought it for me, but I wasn't allowed to have it until Christmas. So, yeah, we've got a couple of um, tops here. This is a pound number one. It was £3 down to a pound. So happy together. It's a little bit creased now, but there we are. Again, this is something else that I saw in my book. And I'm glad I looked at it so she can wear that. So that's not exactly um, winter. Well, it, it's got a long sleeve in, but um, so happy together. But I think it's so sweet with the little girls and the horse. So I'm sure she's going to like that. And then I've got um, a set of loungewear pyjamas. And the full price of these were, was £8. These were from Pepper Co. They're £4. Loungewear men's short sleeve top and long pants. I don't give a poo. 
yeah I know it's something else but there we are <laughs> so that's those so that's brilliant I think that probably is it there might be a few items a few stragglers but that's mostly in these two crates so now I can start getting all my gifts um organized into say um our granddaughter's um Christmas Eve box um her stocking her sack and also other people's stockings and also what needs to be wrapped up so I can sort them all out into the categories so I think I'm going to leave the video here um, I'm not sure uh, about 30 odd minutes on this part I think so um, that'll probably be it today due to the fact I haven't done much else today except obviously hold hubby's hand to search and just you know go, oh bless you know and just look you know look yeah I do feel for him um, and hopefully you know tomorrow you feel better he's actually taken holiday off now um, until Monday um, to get over it it's, I don't know if I mentioned he's had stitches actually in his mouth so um, yeah didn't go too good but we won't go there just in case any of you are due to go to the dentist so this is not our original dentist we went to um, Boopa. Well, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.